I can't really criticize you too much, but can't, can't actually criticize me at all because you don't know what I know. I don't think there's value in making, of using the term race. I don't think it's a valuable no, distinction. But it, yeah, exactly. I don't think it's a valuable distinction. But nowadays, the term Ubermensch is being uh, very much linked to uh, white nationalism and white racism. Well, because because quite Hitler, obviously. Yeah, yeah, because as Hitler the used term the, Zig Heil and Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's kind of exactly. Because Hitler used Nietzsche. Don't know what people's problem is. <laughs> no, but look, I understand. No I understand. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that. You I'm can't saying, say anything these days. You see, that's exactly why I spoke about race. Because I don't think that um, Ubermensch, that the man who overcomes all difficulties, is something restricted to a specific. Of, uh, of course uh, not. What about Untermenschen? <laughs> I think that's the opposite. Oh, oh God. Untermenschen. <laughs> Yeah. Untermen. Yeah, I mean that's uh, yeah. When oh no, we we have to we have to kill the Untermen. So you you no, you're, you're taking the positives the from Hitler and uh, uh, no, leaving look, the negative. Look, Hitler was not an idiot. He was not an idiot. He was not Nothing. an idiot. No. He uh, the problem with Hitler is that his justice. He was pursuing his idea of justice, and that's why I'm afraid of uh, people who are very much uh, linked to their ideology, who believe that their justice is absolute. Hitler was one of those people. Okay. He believed with all his heart that he was doing the right thing, but he was wrong. His ideals were completely um, abhorrent. But you see, that's the, that's the thing that people don't understand when I speak of Speaker's Corner. And that's why I get criticism. From one side, I get called uh, Mr. Uncertain, uh, Pavlov yeah. the Paradox. Uh, he doesn't know if he exists. And from yeah. the other side, I get criticism like, oh, white supremacist, he's a, he's a Nazi, he's a racist, <coughs> which is incompatible. How can I be absolutely uncertain and absolutely certain at the same time? Does it ever occur to you that a lot of discussions that go on might be at a certain level of analysis and some people might be thinking on a higher or lower level and it might be the state that they are incompatible, if you understand. Of course. This is a really relevant thing that. when it comes to, for example, education. Because yeah. in certain situations you have to communicate with people in a certain way, otherwise even the most eloquent of discourse will be over somebody's head. That's, yes. not, a, that's not a diss or a criticism, it's a reality. So it means that if you want to have effect, in my understanding, it means if you want to have effective communication towards something that you think is valuable, you have to gauge it to your audience. Yes, you understand? I agree. I agree. So but at the same that's time, that's something we've talked about before. Yeah. That yes. if you go in there, if you go in there trying to make somebody yes. realize how stupid they are, yes. you're going to fail every time. Yes. Yeah. No. Look, I'm not trying to make everyone <laughs> realize how stupid they are. Uh, some, yeah, uh, your, your approach. Everybody has, has that stupidity. Style. Stupidity is something present in all people. <sighs> but the 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 scope. The specific stupidities are different from person to person. You know what I mean? I, I don't um, know. I don't know if I agree with the, the stupidities of okay, person. I, person. I don't know if you heard about the story about uh, a young uh, kid, <coughs> about the old man, and about the donkey. So they were going to the market to sell the donkey. I think you've heard of it. May tell me. You haven't? Okay, me. let me tell you about it. In Portugal, they say the story. We'll add some animation for this. Uh, yes, before. yes. <laughs> okay. story so, time. Uh, boys and girls, sit down. <laughs> Uncle Pavlov here is going to tell you a story, a bedtime story. No, please don't fall asleep. I know I'm good at that. But make Come on, man, stop blabbering. Let's okay, go. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <clears throat> so uh, they wanted to sell a donkey. An old man and his. Um, uh, and uh, How do you call the son of his children? Grandson, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. Uh, uh, an old man and his grandson wanted to sell, went to the market to sell the donkey. On the way there, in the beginning, the uh, old man sat on the donkey. And the people around were saying, oh, look at that bastard old man. He's using the child. He's making the child walk. Uh, the poor child is so small, so fragile, so malnourished. And the old man is sitting on the donkey. Right. The old man got off the donkey and the child sat on the donkey. Oh, look at that stupid child. He doesn't respect elders. He doesn't like elders. He wants to sit on the donkey when the poor old man is walking by his foot. Okay, the child went out of the donkey. Nobody was on the donkey. Look at those two idiots. They have a donkey in the middle of them and they're not using him for anything. Perfectly healthy, healthy donkey. They both sat on the donkey. Look at those fools. They're going to break the donkey's back. Do you know what I mean now? Of course. You can't win. I can't please Don't everybody. Or it, or it could be that uh, any fool can criticize. Yes, yeah. but look, look, I'm not taking these criticisms too hard. If I was taking them too hard, I would 
stop stop going to speakers corner i'm using them as an example of misunderstandings between different peoples between peoples of different ideologies all right so julian mm. what what do you want to what in your discussions here and speakers corner yeah, yeah. what do you want to achieve oh that's a good question that is a good question um I want to create a platform where different or differing opinions uh, can be shared with respect. Yes. As, okay. oh, sim as simple as that, really. I like that. Uh, and I get criticised from, from both sides, um, Fair enough. from many different corners, and that's fine. And people say, oh, you're biased. There's one guy that I've got a hater that keeps saying, you have a clear pro-Arab bias. <laughs> that's fine. You can oh, look at up. that beard, yeah, obviously pro-Arab bias. <laughs> I heard oh, you whoa, say whoa, it went to Oman. Oh, I never yeah, noticed it that way. Maybe you have a problem. Yeah, maybe I'm a jihadist. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. maybe. But you're a mujahideen. Yeah, it's a cool word. The comments are. It, it is a pretty cool word. Mujahideen. Word. Yeah, yeah mujahideen. Yeah, struggle. The ones that struggle. Yeah. Um, you know, people are free to be equally uh, biased the other way. I'm, I'm not good. At, I have I have biases, but uh, an intelligent person like Joseph can speak to me with his equal bias in the other direction and we can have a, a handshake uh, at the end. Yeah, of course. Just it, because a person is intelligent is it doesn't genuine? mean they don't have bias. Is it genuine from me or from him? No, from you. That's the okay. only way I can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, I, that's I, good. I, I that's good to hear. I uh, genuinely re respect people with, with, with opposing views mm -hmm. and if you don't that's question important. your own uh, or listen to the other side, how are you going to um, be sure of your own opinion? How are you going opinions? to evolve your own well, opinion? Yeah, exactly. They, <coughs> they do, they, they have to evolve. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, all, all Anything this. else? Um, I was going to touch on Julian Assange, having, having been there uh, all right. outside Belmarsh today. We we'll, would love to get you guys' opinion sure. on it. People there, it wasn't a huge turnout, but those that were there um, <coughs> uh, said their bit, they had a, a concert. Yep. And someone did bring up the uh, Extinction Rebellion <laughs> protest that just brought London what did they to have a standstill. What they have to do with the Assange? Yeah, well, they, perhaps nothing but they might have similar opinions and if they can bring London to a standstill, perhaps the people that uh, support Julian Assange can need to same. listen to them, could do the same, or would a protest for Julian Assange have been cleared out much more rapidly oh, I would than be the sure. Extinction Rebellion? I, 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 don't know, I don't know much about the Extinction Rebellion. I just find it very surprising that they lasted so long. It didn't seem like they had um, much opposition, <clears throat> did they? They didn't. No, they, they, they seem to be allowed to oh, fuck, uh, it's raining. go ahead for, uh, for It's a raining, man. Bro, oh, man. Little, okay. come on. Oh, come on. A little bit of fun, a little bit of color. I have to keep it lighthearted. Um, but yeah, it, is, 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 there, is there a point before oh, the, before the climate raining. changes and uh, makes us extinct? I, I'm not sure. I, I'm there not there sure it's as big a deal as they're, they're claiming. Uh, okay. I, I, Do you think yeah. Julian Assange is a big deal? Like the honest truth of it, yeah. I I have not read into the situation okay. at all, so I'm not. I can't actually say. I, okay, I know the guy enough, was involved in Wiki. Honest, it was, yeah. Well, it's not. At least it's, it should be the main thing, <laughs> to be honest. No, sorry, Will, but I disagree. You should know about the sun because it's something very important. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, to be honest, being honest should be the the highest thing. Okay. I mean, yes, if I don't know what about I mean something like that, is that it's, it's bad that you don't know, but at least you're being honest that you don't. Know. Why is it bad? I don't know. Be just as I said, because it's a very important thing that happened about Assange. He was okay. revealing things the British government and the other governments like the American <laughs> government and Hillary were doing and he got imprisoned for it. And shamelessly now, he, he was, uh, he, I mean, he wasn't imprisoned. He was exiled basically in the... Um, the Ecuadorian embassy, yeah. In the embassy, Captive exactly. The embassy, and now yeah. he was uh, but, captured but and why, put into jail. But why is it for you morally bad that I don't know about it? Who said morally bad? Well, you said it's bad. So I assume morally, how else? You should know at this point that I don't delve into morality. I, I don't like delving into morality, it's okay, a very sure gonna, subjective I'm asking matter. you just to justify your okay, statement. Okay, I'm justifying my statement now. You, Will, oh it's boy. important because it's something incredibly important about how the world functions. But, and as an intelligent man, as a... Maybe I, I already have my, my understandings. We, there, there's so no, much but you can't going, have understanding so without information. Like, there's so much going on in the world. Julian Assange is a big story. Palestine's a big story, from, uh, I think. Uh, other people might say that Extinction Rebellion is the most important thing. You might say what's going on in Ukraine is, uh, is vitally important. Like oh, everyone, will, guys. Ha uh, everyone will have their own personal jihad that they think is the number one 
uh, priority. Okay, now, now, now you, you are going for the Arab side. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> the jihad, the struggle. My struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone has their jihad of peace. Has their struggle. Um, well, of but course. I think I think William, if you don't mind me saying, you start with yourself, and I think you you want to sort your own. Uh, life out. You were always saying, or you were saying earlier, why should people be proud of things that they haven't achieved themselves? Right. And I think you're sort of sorting your own house out first I think before that's the you only path. Uh, help everyone else. That, that, of course. That, that's your approach. Exactly. And Assange has a lot to do with British politics, with the British government. It's clear proof that the British government and the American government will not uh, do not care about freedom of speech of their people they do not okay. care about the freedom of their people it's clear proof mm -hmm. that we if we come close to the truth of the truth they are hiding we will be prosecuted for it and i think that's very frightening and i think that's why it's very important to know a bit about assange i mean i don't know everything about it i can't really criticize you too much but can't, can't actually criticize me at all because you don't know what i know you, you said you, 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 you I, said well, okay will i trust you i trust you on what you say you said you didn't research into it i criticized you for that that's the criticism i'm making that's all the criticism i can make i think it's an uh, we're just gonna bicker it's pointless that's all, it, it, okay whatever it, it, let's it's change all, it's, all, it's all good uh, i just wanted to get your view uh, on julia Assange. it's important i don't you know acknowledge it's important and you honestly said you don't know much about it. i think one of the reasons why, uh, why people don't know much is because it's not in the spotlight as much <coughs> as Extinction Rebellion. Mm -hmm. There may be reasons uh, for that. Yes. But yeah, no, I'm happy with that uh, cool. for Julian Assange. Sound. Let's pause it there. Okay. Cool. Well done, boys. Pause it at five or six.